Hey there, Alina from XM8 Mastery here, and today I'd like to talk advanced variables. So what's a variable? Well, F for floor, C for ceiling, can be used on a sketch as long as you sketch. You can use those variables in order to auto calculate all of the labor and material in Xactimate on the line item. So let me show you some of the more advanced variables. We'll cover some of the basics, but I'll show you where we can go to get to the advanced variables that are available for you. So you can really drill down and just remove the piece of something or add the piece of something. It's pretty cool how advanced these variables get. So let's go talk about those in Sketch in Xactimate. So when I'm talking about a variable, what is that? Well, if you go to the properties of something like this room here, you can see that there's a list where you can see all the variables are available. C for ceiling, F for floor, and it defines in this space what is available for you for that dimension. Uh, you've got your walls, you've got your wall opening linear feet. Did you know that that's what Wolf stood for? So we can use all of these variables and Mr. Anderson is saying hello today. Hello, Mr. A. We can use all of these variables in conjunction with the line items over there in our estimate items screen. So to do that, we can go over to estimate items here, I've added some line items. And if you have something that would be attributable to a square foot kind of area, it also works for linear foot line items. You can see here, the calculator is F for floor. If you had something like, a ozonator or something, a thermal fog that would fog a room. Those kinds of things that can actually be auto calculated as well if we go over into what's called the click for all variables. So if we go to the properties, of course you have to click on a room. Um, actually doors have these same variables as well. You can see here that the door variables are listed here, but I like to show you the room. That's the easiest one to show you. So on the room variables, if you click on the room or click on whatever component you're looking for the variable, go to the hand hovering over the piece of paper, the properties is what it's known as an Xactimate, and go to click for all variables. I think people overlook this button. They know where to go to find the basic variables, but there is a whole bunch more here than what first meets the eye. And what's great is if you go to click for all variables, it defines the variable. If you are only looking at the property variable, it doesn't define what LL means, HH. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. But if I click for all variables, it defines them. So that's the other reason I like to show this to you all because not everybody knows that that's available. And if we were going to need to use any of these, well, we better know what the WOSF means. Well, that's the total wall opening area. So those are the totals of all the wall openings that it sees here in Xactimate. So I invite you to go create a sketch of your own. Look at these variables. Look at the different variables available for your different areas of the room or roof. So we've got in the window, it's got its own properties and it's got its own variables here. Not too exciting on a window, but I will tell you, you've got variables in each of these components here. If we're on a roof, you can do the same thing, go to the properties and you can see all of the different places that we can get the measurements for so that we can, when we drop like an eagle view or a hover or something in here, we can automatically have a macro saved with all the light items, save for an interior. But when you sketch something, you can save all of your macros with all those variables already pre-filled so that whenever you drop a sketch into your, your room and you throw the macros on, or if you drop the sketch in, from Eagle View or Hover into your roof, you throw the macro on, yeah, saved with all the variables, saves you a ton of time. So hopefully you found the click for all variables button to be useful. Mr. Anderson sure liked that topic. He's now in his little box over there. And I hope that you can use that as a time-saving device, you know, build macros with those variables built in. You can really get some very detailed macros. If you're going to use like the wall opening linear foot, you know, if you're going to put your trim in there, there, there's all these different variables that are available. So if you like that topic, please click the like button down below. It's like gold for the channel here. And of course, subscribe. So you get the weekly tech tip that I release every Tuesday. And if you have any other ways that you use variables, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate hearing from you all. If you want to know more about XM8 Mastery, what I do here with my Xactimate training for contractors, go to xm8mastery.com. We actually have a freebie there that you can see on our website website and uh, you can go register for that. So for me and Mr. Anderson here, that's him. We are saying have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.